G'day everybody, welcome to ABCPE, the site where we try and make VCEPE as easy as ABC. My name's Michael Woolhouse and tonight we're gonna to talk about Newton's second law and also introduce you to the deep principle, which we think is a real game changer when it comes to answering biomechanics questions. Okay, Newton's second law is the trickiest of the three. Unfortunately for you guys who are doing PE in 2022, we haven't seen it for a few years, so it could be coming your way shortly. This is a law of acceleration. It's a bit of a mouthful here. A force applied to an object will produce a change in motion, which we can, acceleration by definition is a change in motion and how quickly that change in motion occurs. In the direction of the force, which is directly proportional to the size of the force and inversely proportional to its mass. Well, we'll eat. that is a whole lot of words that I don't really understand. Okay, let's break that down a little bit. So what this basically means, an object, let's call it a ball, because that's what it's going to be in most cases. A ball is going to accelerate in the direction that the force has been applied to it. And it's going to accelerate dependent upon how big that force is. So directly proportional means a really big force is going to lead to a really big acceleration. So they, they're joined together. Big force, big acceleration. That is what directly proportional means. Now conversely, inversely proportional to its mass means the heavier the object, the lower or the slower the acceleration will occur. So as one goes up, the other one goes down. So as mass increases, acceleration will actually decrease. And we'll give you an example of that in a second. Um, you need to know this equation. And you need this over here. It just means, well, okay, force is equal to mass times acceleration. That's one way to look at that equation. But then we can turn this around. Mass is equal to force divided by acceleration. Acceleration is equal to force divided by mass. So you can able to use, hopefully, your mathematic knowledge. Uh, no, it's not always easy. But they, this is sort of simple math that can change these equations around. But you guys have to know this long de definition, similar to why you couldn't just say law of acceleration you c and you couldn't just say law of inertia. You have to know that a force applied to an object will produce a motion, an acceleration, sorry, in the direction of the force, proportional to the size of the force and inversely proportional to the mass. If you wanted to simplify that a little bit, you could say that a force applied to an object, the bigger the force applied to an object, the more it will accelerate, and the bigger the mass of an object, the less it will accelerate. I reckon you might get away with that, but have a crack at learning this definition. All right, let's have a look at this in action. Okay, so here we have three different balls, all of which have different mass. We've got the lightest mass ball here, to medium, to the heaviest ball here, which is the medicine ball. What Layla's gonna try and do is apply the same amount of force onto each of these three balls to see what's going to happen to acceleration. In these biomechanics questions, often you will get one of the elements to stay the same. We will manipulate a different element, and then how is that going to affect the overall situation? So in this case, for example, we're trying to keep force the same. We're telling you that mass is different, so how is that going to affect acceleration? Hopefully, you know what's going to happen here. Same amount of force, that ball goes flying. That ball doesn't accelerate as quickly, and that one doesn't accelerate at all. Okay, let's see if we can apply our understanding to a VCAR question. This is from the 2018 exam. We're particularly interested in question 10B. So as I was saying, VCAR will often give you a couple of the variables and you have to tell us how that will affect, in this case, the third variable. So VCAR have told us that this guy is accelerating faster than this guy. They've also told us that the force that both of these cyclists are um, applying onto these bike pedals is the same. So they've given us one variable that stays the same, 
one variable that's changed and then you have to tell me how. And hopefully you've worked out, well, if force is the same and one person is accelerating, then they must be lighter. So this is exactly the same as the three balls that Layla just hit. Well, she tried to have the same overall force. And which ball accelerated the fastest? The yellow ball, the one with the lowest mass. This is the same thing happening. Both of these guys are applying the same force. This guy's going faster. As told to you by Vika, he must have a lighter mass. The way we think that you should tackle all biomechanics question is to go deep with your answers. What we mean by go deep is define the concept, D for define. In this case, it's Newton's second law, and this is the definition we've been talking about. Secondly, if there is an equation, which a lot of these concepts have, use it. In this case, it's F equals MA, force equals mass times acceleration. Now, the explanation is the tricky bit, but in this case, force is the same, so if one athlete's accelerating, then that one must have that smaller mass. Now, it's not a super performance link here, but um, just mentioning that that guy is able to more likely win the race would be worth putting in there. Having a look at the VCAR report, only 15% of the state could get two out of two for that question. So it's something not overly well understood, which again means it's likely to come up in a VCAR exam shortly. Okay guys, I hope that that has helped make things as simple as ABC. You can scan this QR code in order to go straight to our website, or you can just go to abcpe.com.au. We'd love you to like us on Facebook and Instagram. Please ask us for any videos that you really want us to go over. Comment, uh, we will answer your questions and hopefully we'll continue to make your VCE PE journey that little bit easier. Thanks guys, cheers.